Good morning, guys. Today we are ready to leave and go through the final lock in the Crinan Canal and officially be on the ocean side again. So, enough with this motoring <laughs> deal, we're going to be sailing again today. That's a tight fit. I think that boat's made to go through this canal. It's like inches on each side. Looks like we're going to be sharing the lock space with this big guy on the way out. So the bridge was open and then an ambulance had to go by so they had to close the bridge, let the ambulance through, let all the traffic through and now they're going to open the bridge again and let us through. Good practice for some slow speed maneuvering. There we go. Our boat could not be any longer, huh? No, yeah, we're we're about a meter on the bow and about a no meters is on the stern <laughs> till the sails, so it's a perfect fit. It never gets old. We've been out there for like seven years and dolphins are still fantastic. Go for on a stick. But good morning. Good morning. We are, <laughs> we are, we are, we we hit the tide last night perfectly. Uh, we had a nice full moon. Yeah. We did. Um, we were cruising along. We're now south of the Isle of Man. The Isle of Man's about 15 miles behind us, um, and we're just cruising south. Yeah. Uh, still running downwind. Ireland is Ireland is 20 miles that 20 way. 20 miles and in front of us. UK is 30 miles that way, and we're in the middle of everything. So for the past two days, we've been sailing along the coast of the Irish Sea because we've had four days of beautiful, smooth, buttery, northerly winds. So we decided to use those four days to sail a bit further south. Usually what happens when we find a weather like this is we mark multiple anchor points or harbors or ports along our route and we just keep sailing as far as we can until we notice that the wind kind of shifts or the forecast changes. Um, but yeah, so far it's been a beautiful sail. Now we're just passing the southern tip of the UK and we are about to cross the English Channel and make our way to France. The plan is to stop in Brest, <laughs> in Brest, France, 
for a few days or a few weeks, we don't know, but until the wind shifts again so that we can continue sealing south. But it's been such a lovely day. It's wow. We are now wing on wing going across the English Channel. We are celebrating. Uh, ce celebrating. <laughs> we are having a celebratory late egg breakfast because about two and a half years ago we officially crossed the North Atlantic Ocean and we sailed to the UK. Um, from there, we basically kept going north. We sailed from the UK to the Netherlands and then up the coast of Norway, up to Svalbard, and then we are starting to head back south. And a couple minutes ago, actually, we officially closed our North Atlantic slash Arctic Ocean loop. So we are having a celebratory breakfast at two o'clock in the afternoon. Because it means we're like out of the north. We're like actually sailing south, further south than we've ever been since two and a half years ago. I'm going to use that time and I'm going to do this. Your puppy off and burn it. <laughs> puffy layer officially off. I'm Don't probably worry, gonna put it back on. I'm probably going <laughs> to put it back on this afternoon, but for now, it's off. Then is cooking a huge amount of breakfast. I think he's cooking for five people Hell for yeah. some reason. I don't know why. Um, but because well, it's five days of breakfast. Five days of breakfast worth. <laughs> sure. Uh, we're pretty hungry because we've been snacking the past two, three days. And now it's time to actually have a proper meal. Four days of sunshine has been absolutely fantastic. When was the last time we had four days of sunshine? <laughs> Come in there, Captain Kiko. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is probably the best seat of the house. So. It's a hammock chair. We always like to put our hammocks along here, across the companionway, but the problem is the hammocks that we used to put here are our camping hammocks. So they're meant to be laying down on um, this way, basically. <laughs> so we were trying to make it work, but it wasn't the most comfortable. But when we made it to the UK, we ordered a hammock chair from Amazon and we adjusted it to make it fit on our boat. And that was like, it's so comfy. The book could be moving back and forth. It doesn't matter. We're just the most comfortable little human beings in the world right Snug now. Snug as a bug in the mud. Snug as a bug in the mud. I know it's not mud. It's rug. But I like saying mud. Think about it. A bug in the mud would be really snug. <laughs> so this is good. basically like those captain chairs on the commercial navy ships. Just, just like that. Just like that. You have the screen in front, and then you have a big, comfy captain's chair. Exactly like that. You got that. autopilot control? Well, I mean, yeah, I can do this. Beep, beep, <laughs> beep, beep. And then it's like, oh, we need to fall off a little bit. Beep, 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 beep. 10 degrees support. <laughs> midnight and we are getting pretty close to being halfway across the English Channel. Kind of just been very slowly drifting for the past few hours uh, with very light wind but the wind seems to be filling in a little bit now and we don't want to arrive too early because we don't want to get there um, with current against us so it's okay they're going a little bit slower tonight. 
Yeah, mostly we're just keeping an eye out for ships and hopefully they're going to fill in soon and we'll actually start sailing again. It's right now we're only sailing like three knots. a bit rougher this morning out here. Um, I guess a spicy end to what was a really comfortable sail. <laughs> the reason why I can't really catch any sleep, I'm trying to sleep and it's almost impossible because the boat is squeaking so much. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's hard to get any type of rest. Ooh. <laughs> what was that? Dan is uh, hanging out on uh, on the hammock and I'm just trying to rest a little bit. The thing about the English Channel is not the f just the fact that it's windy, but because there's a current, we're kind of going across a current right now, plus we're going down with you know 25 to 30 knots of wind and it's just the waves are just all over the place. So the boat is just rolling back and forth. And we need we haven't fixed all the squeaks on this boat, so <laughs> things are a little loud. Ideally, I would have earplugs, but I don't have any earplugs in today because I found that earplugs really hurt my ears for some reason. I thought it was the size of the earplugs, so I bought multiple different types of earplugs and try them out and none of them work because it just hurts my ear and after a few hours it wakes me up because the entire ear is just so sore i think the solution is going to be to find some sort of customized earplugs for the same shape as my ear maybe they'll help We're both away. There. Yeah, I think you might almost be able to see it. Right right back there behind the sun is land. Yeah. And uh, as forecasted, we are cruising downwind in 20 gusting to 30. So. Oh. Yeah, and imagine we're going across the current right now with the wind behind us, but then yeah. you have current coming, you know, from, from east to west. And then after six hours, it shifts, yeah. right? It shifts to go the other way around. So by the time that it shifts, the air. waves get like completely confused. So we get waves from all sorts of directions, yeah. which makes them bubble up, you know? It's not like a consistent swell like crossing the North Atlantic. It's more like, boop, boop. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Boop. Take as a, a, a hydro, hydro, hydro forecast, a hydrolysis, I don't know. What's, what's a meteorologist for waves? Waverologist. What's a meteorologist for waves? A waverologist. Hydro... I don't know. I was gonna I say think. hydrotherapist. But that's <laughs> not the same thing. I'm down Well, it looks like we hit the tide perfectly. Uh, we've got almost the same amount of current pushing behind us as we do speed through the water. We're going four and a half, five knots through the water and we have like three and a half, four knots of current behind us. So we're averaging eight, five to nine knots over ground, which is awesome. Does it mean that we're technically drifting? The boat wants to be pointed that way so we can drift like that way. It's a good time. Hopefully we'll be able to turn the corner and um, harden up a bit and sail into the marina. Sailing slow last night paid off. We were able to slow down enough that we arrived here this morning with wind behind us and daylight and tide behind us. So we got all three, which is rare. We're cruising now. Ooh. And kind of getting whirlpooled a little bit too. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We made it. We are officially in France. Cool. Officially in France. Officially in France. I call that a successful mission. I think this is a great time to end this episode and we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.